Wilkie, and I'm actually the CEO here at the Center for Sports Medicine and Orthopedics. And my first disclaimer is I'm not at all clinically trained. I'm an accountant by training, but I did at the age of 38 actually have to have what was for me a life-changing surgery. I had to have an A-lift um, at L5-S1, and I tried to look online to figure out anything I could do to prepare for this surgery, to get my home ready, to figure out what to pack for the hospital and I had a hard time finding it so when we started talking about these videos I thought this could be helpful for someone and um, and maybe it will be. So what I found is at the hospital I had packed pajamas, I had packed everything, just wear the hospital gowns. It's so much easier with, uh, with everything but the one thing that I got fussed at about is I brought house shoes that you're, you could actually, um, they were just kind of the slide in type and didn't have a back and the physical therapist didn't like that at all because it, in their mind that's a fall risk. So that's kind of tip number one is whenever you're getting your robe and your shoes and everything is be sure to get house shoes that have a back to them and your therapist will love you for that. As far as preparing my home. I was told whenever I went home after surgery that I was not allowed to bend, to twist, to pull, or to stretch um, until my doctor released me to do that. I also should not lift anything heavier than one gallon of milk. So in order to prepare my house for that, um, I started looking at things like getting the refrigerator rearranged so that things were at eye level because I knew my husband was going to be going back to work and I was going to be at home by myself for uh, during the week. So I tried to figure out quick and easy things, um, soft drinks, sprites, all those things just at eye level. Um, so there, again, I was abiding by the rule of no bending, lifting, or twisting. Um, before my surgery, I actually prepared a lot of s small single-serve soups and casseroles that I could freeze and put at eye level. Um, I stocked up on snacks for me like peanut butter and crackers, almonds, protein bars, anything that was just quick and easy. And also for me, I just I bought milk and juices in quart sizes instead of the gallon sizes. Um, and when I first came home from surgery, um, all I wanted was just soups, crackers, and Sprite. So if you want to just stock up on that kind of stuff. Um, prepare your house just to be lazy for a couple of weeks and just know that you're going to lay around and just let your body heal. Um, I actually, because I can be a bit OCD, got the couch ready before and put sheets and blankets and everything on the couch and extra pillows. Stocked up on movies and um, I put towels, even for like showers, put those on my dresser so that it was easy access. My cell phone charger, um, again, just on the dresser so that it was close and easy access. So in preparing my house, I laid out my most comfortable um, and loose-fitting sweatpants, pajamas, um, underwear, socks on my dresser so that there was easy access to those and not having to pull open drawers to look for things or you know rummage through the closet for stuff. And also, one of the most helpful things for me, and this is going to sound silly, is one of those little tools that you get where, with your hand where you can squeeze it and it helps you pick up stuff. I, you know, some people use it to like pick up trash or whatever. But um, I actually just went to Target and picked up one of those for 10 bucks, and it was a lifesaver because invariably you're going to, you know, you could be at your house and drop something that you absolutely need. And, in, and unless you're just really talented with your toes to be able to pick that up, and I'm not, then that little tool comes in extremely handy. So my recovery time, and I know everybody is different, it, um, I was actually only having to take something for pain for four days after surgery, and then I didn't need anything else. Um, I got fussed at by my surgeon often for trying to um, push too hard, but um, I was very careful because I you know, didn't want to have to ever go through that again. So my surgery was actually in March of 2010. Um, today it is November of 2012, and I can do anything I want to do. I go to the gym. A minimum of two days a week, I work out with a trainer, lifting weights, I go hiking with my husband, um, do anything at all I want to around the house. So I've had just a huge success, and I hope that you do too.